Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share with you a top 10 online business ideas that you can start with almost zero capital. This video is for those of you who are thinking of starting an online business, whether it's for a side hustle or some extra income or you want to do, you know, like go full time and get into online business, but you don't have much capital. So without further ado, in no particular order, the first idea that I have for you is writing an ebook. Ebook is something that you can start with a really low startup cost. So technically, you only need a really good idea and your Microsoft Word. So that's how you're gonna get started. And it doesn't have to be like about a fancy fiction story. It doesn't have to be like a 500 page self-help book. You can actually also come up with a guidebook or a handbook about a topic that you are an expert in. For example, a friend of mine, Selena, she is really passionate about sustainable fashion. And she realized that there is not many publications about this topic yet. So she took things into her own hand and came up with the Recloseted Handbook, which is a handbook for those who are looking to start shopping sustainably, but they don't know where to get started. So you see, you don't really need to have a really fancy topic or a really thick book to get started. As long as it's something that is practical and you see that there is a niche and a market for it, go for it. The second idea that I have for you is to create online courses. Now, you may be really skilled in certain technical skills and you may have received formal training in it. For example, if you are really good in graphic designing or web building, or maybe you are a really talented artist in watercolor, you can actually create video classes and sell them online. Again, they don't have to come in too many badges. You can just create a 10 video series and get started. The third idea that I have for you is to create membership sites. You may not know this, but people are willing to pay to be an exclusive member of something that they are really passionate about. So for example, if you are really passionate about fishing, you can actually create a fishing membership group where in that membership site, you share all the valuable contents like training, live interviews, live demonstration about things that your members will find valuable. And your job while running that membership site is pretty much coming up with valuable content and like moderating the discussions to make sure that everything goes well. You want to make sure that your members get the best value out of it so that they would continue to subscribe to your membership. Now I know all of these ideas that I'm giving you so far, they all have their pros and cons and I really would love to get into it but I don't want this video to be too long and elaborated. So I actually came up with a PDF of the list of zero capital product offering with their pros and cons so that you can download from the link down below and check it out more in depth while you are deciding which product offering works best for you. So the fourth idea that I have for you is social media management. So for those of you who are more creative, you can actually help businesses by creating the content that goes onto their Instagram or Facebook page. And if you are not so creative, but you're more technical, you can actually also dabble into Facebook ads or Instagram ads, which are really valuable skill sets that business owners these days are really looking for. So the fifth business idea that I have for you is coaching. If you are an expert or you are really experienced in certain fields, for example, investment, nutrition, fitness, business, you can actually pursue coaching by helping other people do the similar things that you have been doing. I personally am running a business and branding coaching services and I have to say that in this job, I'm, have, I'm giving so much value to the clients that I have and I'm also learning so much in the process that I really, really love it. The sixth business idea that I have is copywriting. This is also something that I've personally dabbled into while I was doing freelancing. If you are someone who is talented in writing or if you just love writing, get into copywriting. Technically, you only need Microsoft to get started so I don't see where the cost is. 
Hello, hello. And for those of you who love writing but you are not sure what kind of copywriting you can provide, I definitely see a huge market and a huge demand for search engine optimized articles and also sales pitches. And these are the skill sets that you can really just learn online by reading articles or like taking $10 Udemy courses. So be sure to take a look at this if you are really good in writing. The seventh idea that I have for you is translating. If you are someone like me who can speak more than one languages and you can write in it, you can definitely help someone else by translating their website, their brochures to whatever languages that they need it to be in. My best friend Vivi, whom I interviewed in my girl boss chat a few weeks ago, she was actually able to provide for herself while she was traveling around the world just by providing freelance translating and copywriting services on Fiverr. So the next idea that I have for you is bookkeeping. So this is for those of you with an accounting background. Although bookkeeping is something that you would need to spend a little bit money on the software to begin with, I do see it as a really lucrative online business idea because that once you score a client, you would always have reoccurring revenue with the same client as compared to like translating or copywriting. A lot of times that is just like a one-time offer, whereas this is like a reoccurring you know, revenue. The next idea that I have for you is to be a virtual assistant. So a virtual assistant is someone who helps a company or an entrepreneur in doing their administrative tasks like answering emails, scheduling calls, or making travel arrangements. So these are the tasks that you can help virtually and not being in there in person. And if you're not confident in your skills, there are actually a lot of free or really cheap online courses out there that teaches you how to be a good virtual assistant. The next idea is the only recommendation that I have for you today that involves physical products. And that is a print on demand business. This is perfect for those of you who are thinking of having a physical product and you know you love designing something. You want to sell bags, you want to sell t-shirts, you want to sell mugs and you have the design in your mind already but you don't have the capacity to actually you know place a huge order to the supplier to send it to you and to store it and then to send it to your customers when they order. Um, this will be perfect for you because a print-on-demand service, they allow you to design your items or your merchandise or your products and you put them online. And once your customer places an order, they can directly print it for you and ship it to your customer. So you don't have to have a huge capital to get started with this. A friend of mine is a huge Dragon Ball fan and she does really amazing Dragon Ball fan arts. And what she does is she actually sell body pillow, t-shirts, mugs, and a lot of things online through print on demand services on Redbubble. You can check it out. It's really amazing looking at what she's done. So for things like print on demand or really just any online business ideas that you have, it is really important to define your niche so that you can create the right product, the right content and say the right thing that sells to them, that speaks to them. It is really important to come up with the right product offering that works for your niche, that works for your customers and that works for you. So as I mentioned earlier, I have prepared for you a list of zero capital product offering with their pros and cons that you can check it out while deciding what is the right product offering for yourself. It is free to download there so be sure to check it out and let me know what you think. Also, if you have any business ideas or if you already have a business running, share the link in the comment section below so that I can check them out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you know when my next video is up and watch these two videos for more girl boss or motivational content online. And I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye!